In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about RecTrack. The main reasons you will have to check RecTrack are for room and field reservations and the SRC vehicle reservations. First, you will need to log into RecTrack by clicking the RecTrack logo. You will then be prompted to enter a user ID and password. Enter SRC for user ID and Lobby for password. If you are a building manager, you will need to check the facility schedule for the ship that you are working. In order to check this schedule, you will need to click Facility Schedule by Date. Next, right-click Beginning Facility and hit the spacebar. This brings up all items viewed in the list and ensures that you are viewing everything that is happening at the SRC for the selected day. Click on the first item in the list and then click Select. Next, right-click In Facility and hit the spacebar again. Select the last item in the list and click Select. You have now selected all available reservation rooms, fields, and vehicles and are ready to view them. Go to the Date Range input and type in the dates that you want to view. Normally, you will be viewing the current date as a building manager, so input the current date. To view the entire day, you want the time range to be from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. This reflects reservations for the duration of the day. Finally, click Print and then preview. This brings up a list of every activity and reservation that is happening during the date that you have chosen. Another way to view RecTrack reservations is through the Facility Reservation Calendar button. This view might make it easier to read if you are working Lobby Desk or Ops and a patron has a question about what activities are scheduled for on a monthly basis. For example, if a patron needs to know if the SRC Van 1 is available, how would we check to see if it is? First, you would click the Facility Reservation Calendar button. Right-click on the Beginning Facility button. Again, hit the spacebar to load all items that are in the SRC. Scroll down and select Van 1 from the list, then click Select. Now, right-click on End Facility and hit the spacebar. Select Van 1 again so you are only viewing Van 1 in the calendar and click Select. Next, make sure you have the correct month selected. For example, if we want to view the Van 1 schedule for the month of July, 7-2012 should be showing in the Month Year field. Now click Print and finally Preview. From this view, you should be able to answer any questions the patron has about the vehicle's availability. You can also view all three of the SRC vehicles calendar during the same print preview by adjusting the beginning and ending facility fields. For example, if you want to view the SRC truck, van 1, and van 2, you would change the beginning facility to truck from the list and end facility to van 2. This will bring up a calendar for each vehicle for the month. The only limitation to this selection process is that the fields must be touching in the list to view them at the same time. You cannot select the first item and last item in the list without viewing every item in between. So in some cases, you may have to run multiple single inquiries. I hope this video has helped you understand how to use RecTrack. If you have any further questions, please see your program assistant or a professional staff member. The end.